from Studio 1066 on Tiger Drive, this is Tiger TV. I'm Denai Woods. And I'm Jada Womack. Thank you for joining us. Friday students for perfect attendance got to have a field day full of fun. Different food vendors came out and students were able to participate in games and more. Shania Bogan shows us. Friday on September 29th, students with perfect attendance had the chance to celebrate their achievement. Green High School hosted a field day for these students full of game, baked goods, shaved ice, and more. Being one of those students myself, I was able to head out of the field day and spend some time with students who are setting the standard. This was a perfect day to have some fun in the sun and celebrate not a single day of being late or absent. Speaking on behalf of myself alongside these other students, it was worth it. We would like to thank our faculty and staff here at Green High School for such an awesome opportunity. Tigers, let's keep this up. Shania Bogan, Tiger TV News. Thanks, Shania. If you think this looks like a good time, make sure to work on your attendance in school. These students are timely and setting a standard that is worthy of such rewards. Last week, they had a pizza party, and who knows what's next? Get to class and get there fast. The class that brings Greenville High School Tiger TV is still open to new students. Kirsten Corey gives us a look into what things are like behind the scenes. A new class has made its way to Greenville High School's curriculum. Media arts class with Ms. Zeta Ingram has brought a new tech-savvy aspect to Greenville High School. From additions such as Tiger TV News to segments such as Is the Principal and post on our social media platforms, these students are able to jump into the future of technology. Students are able to participate in photography, videography, video editing, video production, graphic design, newscast, and so much more. Students such as myself are able to take on new projects such as experimenting with a green screen like this one right here. We are able to go anywhere we want or need at any time. We are so grateful for this opportunity provided by Greenville High School, Mr. Howard and Ms. Ingram. Kirsten Coy, Tiger TV. Thanks, Kirsten. If you are interested in joining media arts class, you can visit Mrs. Hamilton, the guidance counselor's office, located down the hall of the main office. If you're interested in joining Media Arts Club, visit Ms. Ingram in Studio 1066, located on Green Hall. September 12, 2023, the Greenville High School Marching Band performed their first concert of the semester. This is the first of the four concerts this semester. As Joshua Packer shows us, it was a hit. Nothing soothes your ears more than the sound of Greenville High's marching band, directed by Lee Herring. The students commonly rehearse in the band room where they flood the halls with music and make the school proud. <laughs> These students are constantly putting in work to further their musical genius. Joshua Packard, Tiger TV. For more information on upcoming band events, you can visit Greenville High School Band on Facebook. Now we will take it to the halls for a quick break. Hello, Marlon and Kirsten. What's going on in the halls? Good morning, GHS, and welcome to Hall Talk. I'm your host, Marlon Simpson. And I'm your co-host, Ella Cook. And I'm your other co-host, Kirsten Coy. Let's see what's going on in the hall. <laughs> I'm here with Justin. Justin, what up? Can you give me your best hillbilly accent? Well, when I was young, I had a pet horse. Got torn up by a rattlesnake. <laughs> Dear old Bessie, my Bessie got bit by a rattlesnake. What's up, partner? I'm here with... Romy. Can I ask you to do something for me? Sure. Can you give me your best hillbilly voice? Uh... <laughs> Howdy, partner, I guess. <laughs> I'm here with... Mr. Richardson. Can I get your best hillbilly accent? Ooh, um... I... Six and a half hours later. What in tarnation? Bessie got bit by a rattlesnake. I told Lil Butler to come on home. I'm here with... Miss Blueford. My best hillbilly accent. Um, I think this is the best I can do. We got the dinner ready and the shotgun on the phone. Say what in tarnation? What in tarnation? <laughs> Dear old Bessie. Howdy, partner. Dear old Bessie. Got bit by a rattlesnake. I'm here with Miss Patel. Miss Patel. Yes, Marlon. Can you do something? I sure can. Give me your best hillbilly accent. My best hillbilly accent, Marlon. What would you like me to say? Say, come here, Bessie. Come here, Bessie. I'm here with... Colonel Allen Hester. Can you do something for me? Absolutely. Can you speak in your best hillbilly voice? Like a hillbilly, like I'm from the country? I'm here with... Coach Grace. And... Kevin. Hey, can y'all do something? What the... Give me y'all best hillbilly voice. Hillbilly? I'm gonna let him go for it. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> Get in the house, Jimmy. Come here, Bessie. 
Come here, Bessie. Well, the fall weather is coming in cold. Yeah, it is, Denaya. I wonder if he'll stick around. Denaya, what's looking like for us this week? Well, Denaya and Ajayla, it's officially fall and football season is in full swing. While the weather doesn't call for snow, it might feel just that cold for some Southerners. Welcome to your Target TV weather. I'm Sanaya Stone. Last week was full of chilly mornings and extremely hot afternoons. This week, we are seeing those afternoon temperatures drop down to the low 80s, with Saturday's high being around 76 degrees. These lows at night and early mornings are looking to be in the high 50s, with the lows later this week in the high 40s. Around the country, we are seeing the same thing with the exception of the Northwest. They are seeing temperatures as hot as low 40s and high 30s. We can expect this weather to push into our region later, so don't put away all your summer clothes just yet. That's your weather forecast. Now back to the news desk. Thank you, Sanaya. While I was performing the band last weekend, I got to win us a bittersweet last game at our old football stadium. I may not have been performing at Jada, but it was quite emotional for everyone. Mackenzie Clayton would give us some insight into how that game went in sports. Thank you, Denaya and Ajayda. Welcome to your Tiger TV Sports. I am McKenzie Clinton. Speaking of bittersweet, Grupa High School is making a major transition this football season. After a history of playing at the field next to the middle school, it is time to upgrade to the new stadium located behind our high school. I went outside to check its new features. I'm here with Mr. Howard outside the new stadium. Mr. Howard, how are you? Look back here. I'm, I'm amazing. Every day at Greenville High School is a great day. What features does the new stadium bring? Oh my God, where do I start? I mean, a 20 by 39 Jumbotron where we can show instant video, hype videos. The press box is amazing. Concessions have been totally revamped. The artificial turf, uh, the track, everything, the, just the reserved seating, everything has just had a complete makeover. It is exactly as advertised. I can see why everybody's trying to get here. How did this come to fruition? Oh wow, a lot of prayers. You don't have a project like this without having a lot of people involved. Uh, you start at the top, uh, Superintendent Island, uh, the board, President Nimra, all the board members, then myself, uh, the people that are doing the building. It was just a group effort. And like I said, a lot of prayers, people with a vision, and wanting, the main thing was wanting something for the students of Greenville High School, all stakeholders of this community, just it came to fruition, a lot of prayers, a lot of planning, a lot of good people doing a lot of good things for a lot of great students. How do you feel this new study will affect our school? Oh my God, wow, affect our school. Students now have a place to call home. No more traveling across town. Now the old stadium was amazing. A lot of tradition, a lot of things going on. A lot of people are gonna miss it. We're gonna welcome those people to Greenville High School every time we have an event. Again, our students have a place to call home. This community will be served through this uh, amazing new Tiger Stadium. The possibilities are endless. Uh, JROTC competitions, band competition, so many other things that can be held here. We can have concerts, movie nights for the students. The list goes on and on. It's just an amazing time to be a Greenville High School student. It's an amazing time to be the principal of Greenville High School. It's an amazing time to be a community member of Greenville. And we're just extremely excited about the process and how it came to fruition. How do you feel as principal to be able to make this happen? Well, as principal, I, I, I'm usually not speechless, but when they broke ground, and the, the great things that are happening at Greenville High School inside of the classroom now, to be able to add something like this, is like the icing on the cake. Our students, deserve the best we have instruction wise. They, they deserve the best from their administrator. They, they deserve the best facilities. And when you combine all of that, that's pretty much how I feel in this moment right now as principal of Greenville High School. Extremely proud to be the leader of this school, to serve the teachers, to serve the students, all stakeholders. I have no more words. I'm just extremely excited and proud to be principal here at Greenville High School. Is there anything you'd like to add? I was just, my mom always told me that when people do something nice for you, you say thank you. I would like to say thank you to Superintendent Island, to all the board members, to all the community, all the people working on this project. Thank you to the students for being awesome. Thank you to the teachers for serving the students. It makes my job so much easier having great teachers, having amazing students. I'm just really, really excited about the new stadium, the direction Greenville High School is going in. I want to say thank you to Mrs. Gill and Mr. G, the, uh, other administrators, council, just everyone associated with Greenville High School at this particular time, in this moment, with this new stadium, 
the great things we have happening here at Greenville High School with ACT scores, academics, everything. We now can say we can nurture and teach the entire child, and that's what's most important to me. And I'm just extremely excited to be the principal here at Greenville High School and can, being able to continue to serve everyone that enters our doors. The Greenville High School Tigers had their friends at the edge of their seats for the final game in our old stadium. With a close game full of emotions, the final score was 34-31 to 31 Wetumpka. While our Tigers were defeated, they persevered and pushed through until the very end. This Friday, the Tigers will face on Headland away and would love to have your support there. Speaking of support, during last Friday's home game, Jemiah Gray had the opportunity to interview some fans. Jemiah, what was the atmosphere looking like? This is Greenville High School's last football game at the old Tiger Stadium due to a new one being built. Let's go visit some Tigers who are hyped. Who am I here with today? Maya. Harper. I have a question. How do y'all feel about this being the last game on the old stadium? Um, I would say it's definitely sad seeing as how we all grew up in this stadium, but it's going to be really exciting to be able to play and do color guard or JRTC events in the new stadium. Who am I here with? Shania Wogi. <laughs> Shania, how do you feel about this being the last football game on the old stadium? Um, I'm kind of sad about it because I've been doing color guard since I think 10th grade and I made a lot of memories here, but I'm also excited to see what a new field go bring. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, who am I here with? Francis Benson, the class of 1953. Hi, Ms. Francis. How many games have you been coming to this season? Well, until my health got bad, I taught at the high school for 30 years and I didn't miss a game. My husband was principal at the middle school, and so we came all the time. We lived across the street, so it was no problem. How excited are you for this game? Very, very. It's heartwarming. I spent a lot of years cheerleading down on this field and uh, fond memories. Great teachers, great principal, wonderful school. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for coming. Who am I here with today? Me, Asia. I want to ask, how hype are you for this game? I'm super hyped. Yeah, I agree with Maya. It's definitely bittersweet because it's our senior year, but I can honestly say I'm very excited to graduate on the new field. Thank y'all. Who am I here with? Sergeant Taylor with the Alabama National Guard. Sergeant Taylor, how do you feel about this being the last game at the old stadium? It's a bittersweet moment. Uh, I've been coming here since, I, since 2004. I've been able to bring my daughters here. We've been coming to games, you know, for the last four or five years. Uh, but, you know, it's a new beginning. I think it's a great move for, for Greenville High School. Um, hey, it's a touchdown. Tiger. Thanks, Jeremiah. That's all I have for your Tiger TV Sports. Mackenzie Clinton signing off. Go Tigers. Thank you, Mackenzie. That is all the time we have for Tiger TV today. Thank you for joining us, and remember to follow Greenville High School's Instagram and like their Facebook for more information and updates. That's at Greenville High School on Instagram and at Greenville High School on Facebook. Join Tiger TV today by visiting the studio 1066 on Green Hall. Have a great day and go Tigers!